Guys, it has been an eventful day today. I am headed to the vet. There's never a good place to be going if you own a pet. But our dog, a yellow lab, Mr. Juicy Boy, somehow messed up his ear. We're not sure how he did it. Evidently though, dogs like Labradors have a tendency to get what's called a hematoma. So on his ear, it was full of fluid. And we just happened to notice it last night when we were just petting him. Deuce is lab number six for me in my lifetime. And we've never ever had it happen. So we took him in this morning first thing. They informed us that they got to put him down, do like a full on surgery. Unfortunately, they couldn't just take a syringe and drain it. The ear is super vascular, uh, means it bleeds a lot and they just feel the best way to get it fixed is to have to cut them open, clean it all out, drain all the fluid, and then stitch them back up. It's four o'clock now, I'm gonna go pick them up. It sucks, anytime you have a pet, uh, our pets are like our kids. I mean, he, he is our kid for sure. Dude, and he's getting a little older, he's eight years old, so a little bit more of a risk for going under and doing the surgery and all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to see him and uh, probably get extra special attention for the next several days while he is healing up. Well, here he is. He's a little out of it still. <laughs> Sit down, you stay. His ear's not looking super hot, but said he did good. I'm gonna go get him some rest. Leaking a little bit, but let's go get you home, buddy. It's the worst kind of weird they thought he had an ear infection which uh, by shaking his head would have caused that hematoma but it turns out he did not have an ear infection so we're not sure what he did he was kind of wild and ran into a door frame being all silly the other night that I guess could have done it bummer deal aside from uh, everything else 812 bucks total bummer not the funnest thing in the world. I just hope he heals up pretty quick, starts feeling better, got him some antibiotics and some pain meds. But I figured uh, a lot of you guys that have pets would understand and kind of can feel uh, feel our pain. Unexpected day to the vet. All right, everybody, I'm checking back in with you. Gonna give you an update on the dog. It's been about a week since we got him back from the vet. Show you real quick. The ear is healing up very nicely. He's, he's a little shy, he just covered it up. Can we take a look at this, buddy? What do you think? Should we take a quick look? Should we see how you're doing? Oh yeah, still a little sensitive, but it's healing up nice. Got a lot of stitches in there, but he's doing pretty dang good. He's doing better than we expected. Hasn't been messing with it like I thought he would. They didn't put him in the cone of shame, which he was happy about. So overall, he's healing up pretty dang good. What's up guys, I made it to the warehouse. It's uh, closing time and everyone at Evo I went home, but they let me in to come do some touring of the warehouse because guess what we have a sale going on today the sale is live on our website so let me show you the items that we have on sale we've got the camo windbreaker it's all camo with an orange fireball hit and an orange woven label like this down on the pocket the good news is typically we do a sale and we really don't build up inventory for the sale but this time we actually planned ahead thanks to Brian and Casey and everybody who helped but we planned ahead and actually have a lot of inventory for the items that are on sale so that's the good news the next item on sale is going to be the hunter t-shirt this gray one see how many we have so yeah we got your size we're full of larges medium smalls XL you name it so this is on sale and a couple of the hats that we built up in inventory the guys at Eagle Eye have been plugging these out so the black ops we're not just trying to do like spring sales and get rid of some of our bottom sellers. We're actually putting some of our top sales sellers on sale. So the Black Ops is on sale. The Oliver, which is probably one of our best selling bent brim hats. It's just a uh, brown and tan two-tone cap. And we got, we got so many hats. Oh yeah, the Army hat, this one right here. So all three of those hats are on sale. And let's see, what else do we got? I think we put the, oh yeah, beanies. All these colors are in stock. Uh, there's two styles. So this is the slouch beanie. This is my favorite. Once I washed it, it shrunk up a little bit, but it's soft and comfortable. It's not itchy. And then if you like the cuff beanie style, we have multiple colors in those as well, as you can see right there. And then the slouch beanie is right there. Let me think. So went over the shirt with you guys, went over the windbreaker, the beanies and the hats. I think that's it. That is it, but 
The good news also is most everything else is back in stock. Check it out on the website. Link is in the description box below, like always. But yeah, thought we'd give you a heads up so you guys can grab some stuff and save some cash. So check it out. Where are we at? What are we doing? We're at the wellness center. Oh, we're just dropping spots like it's okay. Just tell people where we're at. We're at. We're just. <laughs> wow. A great interest. Me and Gage were bored at Sunday, and there's this little pond. Well, it's a pretty good sized pond, actually. It's literally a half a mile from our house, but uh, it's been iced over and it's just starting to uh, melt. It is supposed to snow here in about an hour, so we're gonna try to get a little fishing in before that takes place. I apologize for this wind. My uh, external mic just died right when we got here. But we're all set up. I'm just gonna be stripping a, uh, you can see this little black and blue leech. Some uh, intermediate sinking line. Gage is going to be doing the bobber dog with a, a balanced leech. Casey got a fish on. Go check it out. I just landed the state record fish here on this pond. It's eight inches. It goes about 0.45 pounds. Stud. Pretty much stud. I'm just crushing today. Logan and Gage are over on the dock bobber dogging. Just out here casting in the open fly water. Fish after fish. It's actually the new world record. Dural cell. I don't know what it's supposed to represent, but it usually works everywhere. See these fish, they're jumping. It's springtime, guys. They're getting all excited. Swim away, little buddy. It's too easy. I got done catching all the fish over there. So I had to come over here and show these guys how to catch fish off the dock. Good fish. Dad. I think Logan wants to keep this fish. You want to keep this fish, Log? You want to keep this one? It's a good eater. Look at that big old fat fish. Uh, Logan just informed me the greatest thing about fishing at the local pond is <laughs> if you get hungry, you just order a sandwich and they deliver. You see, you guys see what's going on right now? Yeah, it's just your uncle. Sorry about that. Are you sure? <laughs> Not sure. I'm just uh, over here catching fish for Logan to eat, and uh, he's ordering Sandos up from the local sandwich shop. I like it though. I like where his head's at. Nice warm steak sandwich would be really good right now. What he did though was he ordered the sandwich. And I came over here and he's like, "Oh, are you guys hungry?" And I'm like, oh, "No, we're okay." He's like, "All right," because I already ordered me a sandwich. <laughs> Hot, some hot food out here on a cold day. Oh, let's see how good this looks. Look at that. Right to the dock. <laughs> While you're fishing. It's great <laughs> stuff delivery. Uh huh. <laughs> We're on the board, Gager. Get him in here. There you go, now you get him off and let him go. This baby. Is he off? Okay, don't squeeze him too tight. There you go, bud. Good job. Look at that dorsal head. Look at the thing. Jeez. Okay, let him go. Let him go, let him grow. Nice. Release Gager. I caught a fat sandwich. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Two for Gager on the flat pole. Okay, you gotta pick him up. Don't squeeze him too tight. Okay, put him in the water. Perfect. 
perfect release. Good job, bud. Crushing. My hands are freezing. That's good. It means you're, they're in the water a lot. That means you're releasing fish. Yeah. Like this in here. 